it's time for Phonics with Mrs. D.O.G. Are you ready for some phonics fun in the sun? I'm sure you are. Take your hats out, put them on, let me hear your best singing voices. Off we go. Phonics, phonics all around, phonics all around. Phonics, phonics all around, phonics all around. Okay. The first thing we need to do to switch on our phonics brains is we need to remember the diagraphs that we have been learning so far. Okay, get your eyes ready to see what's coming next. Right, can you go to your front door and say to your front door these lovely diagraphs? Do you remember this one? Ch. Remember the action? Ch. This one. Shh. Remember the action? Shh. This one. We can say this one two ways, can't we? Th and th. You're the naughty clown, remember? You stick your tongue out. Th and th. This one. Ng. You're the strong man or the strong woman, and you go ng. Well done. Now, can you go to your back door and tell your back door these diagraphs? What's this one? Oh, oh. We know this one can be said two ways. The first way is the long way, ooh, and the long and the short way is ooh. The long way, ooh. The short way, ooh. This one, ah, oh, fantastic. And for the last one, can you go to your bedroom door and tell your bedroom door these ones? Uh, uh, I, we did that one yesterday. I, do you remember? I, Ow, ow, oi, oi, and uh, uh, fantastic, give yourself another pat on the back, well done to you. Okay, today's new diagraph has got, I'll give you two clues. It's got two letters, like most of our diagraphs. It's got two E's in it today. Do you think your phonics brain can tell you before I show you? Whisper it to your adult if you think you know. Let me see if I can hear those whispers. Yes, some of you were right. It is E. It has got two E's in it. Now, the action. It's as if you are a donkey with floppy ears. Now, in the song, there are two diagraphs in it, but we're only going to do the E diagraph. So the action is E when the ears are up, and the other action is O, oh, but we'll learn that one a different day. So the action is E or oh, E or can you become the floppy ears of a, do of a donkey? Here's the songs. Parents, don't forget to join in with the singing. Enjoy! E E B Or Or Fork tell me practice the letters in our diagraph that's right today's diagraph is tell me again e the two letters in this diagraph is an e and another e so we've got two e's to practice today now p 
parent. You might like me for this or you might not like me for this. But this bit is completely your choice. Who is up for a little bit of messy play? If you are that parent, this is what you need to do. You need to get a nice big container. If you've got some salt, not much. I didn't have to put too much in there. Salt is probably the less messiest thing to do, so I recommend it. And some nice glittery glitter to make it a bit more exciting for the children. And of course, a paintbrush or a pencil or something that they can do the marks, mark making with. And of course, a nice big container so there is not much mess, fingers crossed. Hopefully there won't be too much mess as there's not that much salt in it. But it is great for your child's muscles in their hands to help them with their writing. So it's just a different, exciting way for them so they can practice their letters, they can practice their name, completely up to them. But it's just another fun way to practice letters. Who's gonna be brave? Come on, parents, it's not that bad. Okay, now, if you are not that parent that doesn't like messy play, don't worry. I will show you in the next video how to get back to that letter formation game we had yesterday. Have fun, children. More fun. Go into Google and type in Robo Whale Games. Robo Whale Games. Click on the first link and it will bring up lots of different letter formation games. You could try this My Melody letter formation game if you've got a little girl, or there's a Garfield letter tracing game. They all work exactly the same, the games, but we're going to do this one, drawing letters. Click on that one, scroll down, and you need to click on the play button. Also for the previous games I mentioned as well, click the play. Click on the play button, and then your game will get started. You can go to the letter and you, you need to use your finger to go to the star. Click on the star to do the first part of the letter. Click on the second star and the third letter and you will get your stars once you've done the letter correctly. And you keep going and you get your stars and when you've unlocked all the stars it will let you go on to the second letter and you keep going until you've done all your letters hope you like this game have fun right the next thing we're going to do is everyone's favorite bit it's the game now this game is called teacher and child now parents i normally use one of your children to help me demonstrate this game in our phonics session but i've got to use the next best thing because my little girl is far too young and it'll probably be a disaster so let's say hi goldilocks are you going to help mrs dog today thank you very much okay in this game so you'll be a teacher and a child the teacher's job will first of all be to look down the list of words that I have posted on the Facebook post yesterday. You will need to tell your child the first word to write, okay? So, I am going to tell you Goldilocks, the first word you need to write today is feet. Off she goes, she needs to write the word feet. Now, you're the teacher, so you can help your child with the sounds if they get stuck. If they don't need your help, you don't need to help. Are you okay there, Goldilocks? You writing your words, fantastic. 
very good at writing, Goldilocks. Okay, when your child has done that, they will need to show their writing to their teacher. That's looking fantastic, Goldilocks. Now, teachers, your job is to now mark the word that your child has just written. So, feet, what's the first phoning? Yes, she is correct. There is a tick it off. What's the next sound? The next diagraph, eat. Yes, she's correct. It has got the diagraph, e. And the last sound, the last sound in feet, f eat. Yes, she is correct. Well done, Goldilocks. You've got that correct. She has got herself one point. Okay, then what you will need to do next is you will need to swap roles. So I will become the child and Goldilocks will become the teacher. So, children... I'm sure you're going to enjoy this game. I'm sure you're going to enjoy becoming the teacher and telling your adults what to do. Have fun! For the next part of our phonics session, children, you'll need your reading eyes and your reading finger to help you read today some very silly sentences. Now, Parents, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get on Phonics Teacher's favourite website, ICT Games. And on that game, on that website, there is a game called Tele T Rex. The T Rex will show you some very silly sentences, but children, in the sentences, there will be what diagraph in the words? Let me hear you say it. E. There will be E in some of the words, okay? So once you have read, read the silly sentence, you will then need to answer yes or no, okay? If you get it correct, you get to feed the hungry T-Rex and he'll gobble it all up. So, get your reading eyes out, children and your reading finger if you need it to help you point to the words when you're reading and enjoy feeding the T-Rex. Go into Google and type in, you guessed it, my favourite, ICT Games. Click on Literacy Games and scroll down to the game called Tell a T-Rex. It's a reading game today. Click on the diagraph E, it's on the second column, just on the bottom there. And there you go, you will get some very silly sentences your child will need to read and they will need to think about if the answer is yes or no and click on the cross or the tick and then they will feed the T-Rex. Enjoy! Children, were your parents good at using their phonics brains to write their words? I'm sure they were. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is, if you are up for it, children, our reading challenge. Who's going to stretch their brains today? I've got a very exciting reading challenge. So, parents, in the next video, I am going to show you how to get onto a website. It's a superhero reading website. I'm sure children will love this one. Now, what the children will need to do is the superheroes will show the children some sentences that they have written. Now, it's up to your parents which option you choose. You can get the children to help punctuate the sentences that the superheroes have written. So you can either choose for the children to put in all the capital letters in the superhero sentences, or you can get the children to put in all the full stops in the superhero sentences, or 
There is a few more options, but this one I would get your children to do if you really want to challenge them. You will need to get them to punctuate all of the sentences with the different types of punctuation. That one will really fry their brain a little bit. So definitely stretch them. Okay, enjoy the superhero reading challenge, children. And that's the end of our phonics session today. Now switch your brains off. Take your hats off, give it a nice good spring clean so it's really working well next week and put it back in your pocket. Oh, before I go, I will be putting a Facebook poll on the Facebook group. A poll is going to be this week um, a choice of games that you would like to replay next week week so you will need to tell me which one was your favorite game and then we can play it next week or if you want me to i can choose another new game completely up to you but tell me in the poll so i know what to play next week because i would love to know what you're all thinking about the phonics games because it will help me to plan next week okay oh and one more last thing please 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 don't forget to send me pictures or any videos of you doing anything or any writing for you to show me because I would love to see it on our Facebook group. If you don't want to post anything on the Facebook group, send me please, please, please in your class email and don't forget to send it to your class teacher because they would like to see it too. Bye, see you next week. Go into Google and type in BBC Small Town Superheroes and it's the first link there and click on that link and then click on the play button and then it asks me to rotate and then again click on the play button Okay, so you can see there, there's lots of different literacy topics that you could choose. If you continue with the arrow, there's a lot more there for you to use. So you can continue to use this program for different things, especially if you're in year one or two. Today, we're going to use the punctuation house. It's story time at the library. A perfect job for you. But your stories have punctuation mistakes in them. Correct the mistakes and then entertain the children with your rapping. Over and out. So that's really nice. There's a superhero and there's lots of different things that they can do. We are go well, like I said, you can choose our full stops, capital letters, question marks, commons, exclamation marks. Um, up to you. And again, if you want to stretch your children, you can try the all punctuation. But I'll just demonstrate capital letters, for example. So they will need to become the teacher and correct the superhero stories. Choose where the capital letters should be. So they will have to read the sentences and decide where they think they will need to put the capital letters. And on the bottom there, it will tell you how many capital letters or corrections they will need. So you just need to click on where you think um, they will need to put a capital letter and so on. And that's it. And you can always go back and you can do a different topic. Hope.